It's Bunny here. Happy 2024. Welcome to my sacred space of love and healing. We are going to do your bonus love read today. You guys earned the first bonus love read because you got like, oh gosh, I was it was like, I don't know, I don't remember, but you got the most views on my shorts videos that I did in November. So you earned the first bonus read. Um, followed by Gemini, I think, and then Sagittarius. So we are going to dr uh, drive. We're going to drive, Leo. <laughs> We're going to drive to the store. <laughs> we are going to dive into your bonus love read. I'm so excited for this. Um, it's been a long time since I've done a love read, so I really want to jump in. So let's let's see how it's going to start out right away, Leo. Okay? Let's dive on in. I'm going to start with my Gypsy Witch deck and see what we have, okay? Let's set the tone for this reading. I've already cleansed your space with some sound healing and also I have incense going. So I waved all of these cards in the incense smoke to create a sacred space. And this is, ironically, it's aphrodisia which is a love incense so we are primed and ready for love my beautiful leos all right thank you for allowing me to be the clearest channel for source messages i'm gonna go ahead and create sacred space now for me and my guides and my star family and my ancestors and my angel team what's what's up guys all right and connecting now to all the Leos that watch me and their spirit teams. Let's rock and roll. Welcome, y'all. Okay, we have... J oh, man, I just said... See, there's no accidents. I just said, we're going to drive, Leo. <laughs> and there you have Journey. Voyage. You can't make it up. <laughs> all right, so let's see. Let's see what I'm going to divine from this. Some of you... You might have to journey in order to see your person. Or maybe this is what I've been feeling like for a while. For you, Leo. You might receive an unexpected, I can't talk, an unexpected, I can't wait till we get out of Mercury Retrograde, an unexpected visit from someone, right? That's just going to change everything overnight. I've been feeling like this and channeling this for Leo for a minute. Look, someone's really deep in thought. This is on the bottom of the deck about their feelings for you my beautiful leo they can't stop thinking about it they're restless as hell they feel like they need to make that step right okay <clears throat> let's get one more card from here these just so you know leo be fair warned set aside enough time to dive into this reading because i have a lot of love decks and when i do these bonus love reads i always dive really deep in and I use every single one of my decks. And I'm very thorough. So, you know, it's gonna get it's gonna get deep and it's gonna get this reading's gonna get long. We have is that money? Oh, hold on one second. All right, Leo, sorry about that. Had to pause it real quick. Okay, so <clears throat> the next card that we had is money. So <laughs> Take that how it resonates. Either the person, oh, look at what's on the bottom of the deck. See, I told you, look, visit. I'm telling you, I am a damn good energy reader. Do I, I need to do my little horn, right? Toot toot. <laughs> Leo. All right. So either you are going to get a lot of money, right, soon, or your person who is into you, um, is is wealthy so take it how it resonates if you know that that's you leo and you banking i mean leo's gonna be banking anyways this year in 2024 we were already predicting that <laughs> didn't that show up in your guys's december read yes it did i know it did um so you know there's your there's your confirmation again leo your 2024 is going to be very successful okay now, let's see what it's going to hold for you for love. <laughs> All right. Let's see. What, are we, what else do we have for Leo? What do we have for Leo? Oh, I need to shuffle these cards. 
All right. I can't, you know, I was, I was humming that song. Strangers in the night, exchanging glances, wandering in the night. What were the chances we'd be sharing love? Da, da, da. I don't know the rest of the words, but that has to be for someone because I don't even listen to that song. I don't know that song. Hmm. There's something about that energy. Strangers in the night. Strangers in the night. Certain relationships in your life are ending. It may be painful, but trust there's a bigger plan for you. Touche. Touche, Leo, right? The universe is saying, you know, you might have had a lot of heartbreak. Mom, I'll see the uh, shadow light. All right, sorry about that, Leo. <laughs> okay. Um, so yeah, if, if I know a lot of us have been going through, going through it like for years <laughs> with a lot of lessons in love, a lot of hard lessons in love, but you never gave up the faith. Did you Leo? You always kept the faith that, you know, that true love was out there and you weren't going to settle. And good for you, right? All right, so we have your heart chakra is unbalanced. You may be heartbroken or dealing with heartbreak. This is the second time there's something about heartbreak, right? Relationships ending. Use this time to surround yourself with people that uplift you. So it's okay to nurture that heartache, Leo. Just don't live there. <laughs> I feel like. The, for the past few years, Leo has had a lot of setbacks in the love department. But all of that's going to change, Leo. I can guarantee. I have felt the energy shift. And I believe that there are really incredible energies coming your way, Leo. They really are. Okay. So. Keep that hope alive, my beautiful Leos. Okay. Let's go ahead and... Pull a celebration of love card for you. I think I'm just going to take one of these. All right, what do we have for Leo? Because, yeah, I've never, never really felt too connected to this deck. I do like it, though. I think the artwork is beautiful. You know how sometimes you just feel a certain connection with a certain back and then some you just don't. Creativity, nectar of divine essence. Ooh, look at that. So opening up yourself to your creative essence, Leo, um, is going to draw love ever closer to you. I also want to read. I want to read what this, what the... I want to read what the card means because I I don't know this deck very well. Nectar of divine essence. That sounds beautiful, doesn't it? I love it. I want to read it. I want to see what it means, Leo. Let's dive in. It says, this image celebrates that our creativity is truly divine. Oh, it's beautiful. It calls us to step up to the plates and to be the creator that we were meant to be. Do something today that you normally would do in a mundane, habitual way and approach it from a truly new, creative, innovative way. Wow, very nice. It says spirit or special message, spiritual message. <laughs> I wanted to say spiritual. So maybe it is a spiritual message, but it's, it says special message. You are in a rut about something and are being inspired to look at it from a fresh, creative approach when dealing with it. So if you are looking at your love life in a way like, oh, it's just been the same old bullshit. This is the same energy. Try to see it in a different light. You know, do what the card is saying. Look at the energy of love like this nectar that's flowing out of this beautiful flower. Where 
Can you spot the love that's flowing into your life right now as we speak, Leo? Where can you find the beautiful essence of the divine, right? The divine source of love and creativity. Where can you find that beautiful connection to God, right? Because the divine is God. It's the universe. It's everything, right? Oh man, that's beautiful, Leo. Once you can look at your life as a divine source of nectar, um, love nectar, which flows consistently into your life. If you start looking for that love flowing, then the universe goes, oh, you're looking at this and you're noticing it. And so they're going to give you more of it. The universe pays attention to what we notice. And it pays attention to our reactions. I seen this video on YouTube that explained that the universe pays attention to what we pay attention to. The universe will send us glimpses of things that we want to try to manifest. And then it'll gauge your reaction and wait for how you respond. Now, if you respond in a positive way, it goes, ooh, they like this. And then they send more of it. But if you respond in a negative way or in a, a way that says, oh, stupid, that's not what I wanted, bitch. Or you act impatient and say, oh, well, that's not even what I wanted or that's close to what I wanted. And you act all stank attitude. The universe is going to go, mm, maybe they're not ready for that type of, you know, manifestation. So make sure when the universe gives you glimpses of things that it's, it's when your order is almost ready that you put into the universe, make sure that you accept every single parts of it the little glimpses of it with gratitude and love because with that gratitude and love it's going to bring in more of that beautiful energy the universe will see oh yeah that you know she's liking this so let's let's upgrade it and send a little bit more of that okay so just trust that leo trust that okay all right, so let's see. What are we going to do now? What deck should we use now? Why don't we? Mm -mm -mm. I'm going to do the Love Oracle. There's just so many decks here, and I'm so excited. I don't even know where to go. <laughs> That's just really cool. Okay, so I am super excited for 2024. I'm going into this with a whole different perspective. It's just, it a feels... Very exciting, beautiful energy. Entering into this extremely um, potent age of Aquarius where everything is shifting in the most beautiful way, y'all. I feel so much love and excitement in the air for all of us. Read between the lines. I told you, you're going to have to read between the lines. There's someone... That has a, a message or a feeling I can tell feels like ooh look at that grass is greener so they might have put you on the back burner for a while Leo and or they might have acted like they didn't give a fuck and that's why you have to read between the lines it feels like the feelings were there ooh that one flew out dang date we're gonna get one more from this deck it feels like they may have put you on the back burner for a while. Maybe, you know, they wanted to keep their options open, which is a really shitty thing to do to someone, you know, because you feel unsure about Leo. You know, like if someone feels unsure about you, Leo, and they put you in the, on the back burner, I would hesitate to give them another shot. I would personally, but, you know, only you can make your decisions for you. I'm just going to give you advice, right? It feels like maybe they thought the grass was greener. And it doesn't even have to be that, you know, they were feeling out their options for love. It could have been they put you on the back burner because maybe they they always thought you were going to be there. Maybe they were busy with work. Maybe they had distractions going on. Maybe life happened and they just said, eh, you know, I'm, I'm busy. Leo will understand. But you know what? That's not okay. You know, you need to communicate with someone. You can't just disappear. You can't just ghost someone. You have to communicate and say, I need a little bit of time to do some thinking because I'm going through this. You know, I my family life is, is happening this way and I'm a little bit 
overwhelmed. So I just need some time and space, Leo. But it is never okay to just go someone because that is childish behavior. Okay? There is never any context to disappear on someone like that unless you're dead or in a coma. <laughs> okay? I'm just going to say what everyone needs to hear. So no matter what the reason they put you on the back burner, Leo, all it takes is a phone call or a text to say, this is what's going on. I promise to get back with you. You know, don't put your life on hold for me. I'm letting you know where I'm at. But no, instead they chose to be dumb <laughs> and disappear. And that is not okay. Snake. And we have, so this was dates and then we have snake. So snake can be can mean a few different things. This could represent an awakening, right? The snake represents spirituality, specifically a kundalini awakening. So you might have recently experienced this, Leo. I know I did on a personal level. I recently experienced a kundalini awakening, which was really amazing. And like I've been awakened for a while, but to experience the full, the full kundalini energy going up my spine was a really beautiful thing that happened to me in 2023 um and it's sort of setting the tone for 2024 right also the snake could represent um maybe you know the person backed off because maybe there was people around them that was filling their head with with stuff like oh leo's this or leo's that or maybe you shouldn't trust this and in, in the past all the Leos you dated were this and that. And you know what? L let them be in that energy, Leo. Okay? The thing is, they may have put you in the back burner. But the thing is, they have really strong feelings for you. That's why it says you have to read between the lines. Because I feel like even when they did this, they knew, they knew in their heart of hearts that it was a huge mistake because they have deep feelings for you. And that's why it's saying read between the lines because they may have treated you like they didn't care. And honestly, I can feel that they care very deeply. And you probably on a subconscious level felt that. And that's why it was so hard for you, my dear Leo, to move forward after this, right? That's where the heartbreak card came in. Because you know on a subconscious level, you could feel it because this isn't just a normal connection for you, Leo. This is a spiritual connection. So while I'm not condoning their actions, you know, hurt people hurt people. They were traumatized. There was something that happened and they just couldn't face themselves. And you were a clear mirror for them, Leo, to show them their shortcomings and they didn't like it. So rather than step up, they chose to step back. And now they're starting to feel like they made the wrong choice. I can already feel all of this energy coming out. And watch. The cards will verify. Let me, I'm going to keep drawing. All right, what else we got? Let's see what the romance angels have to say about this. You know, usually I read the energy and then the cards just confirm. Let go of control issues Allow the situation to unfold naturally. See, look, there's this energy of like, there is the angels watching. And then there's this woman and she's just like, I don't have time for this, right? She's like, I'm about to take my child and get out of here. <laughs> right? And then here's the guy and he's thinking, thinking, thinking. He's in his thoughts, right? It's almost like he wants to stop her. But yet he's in his thoughts as, as well. Like almost like there's this feeling of like ego, you know, or like this feeling of like not knowing how to fix the situation, but it's not for you to fix Leo. You don't have anything to fix. You don't have, sh you don't have shit to fix. This is on them. If they want to fix it, they're going to have to be the ones to do it, Leo. Because you ain't the one that messed it up. They did. <laughs> I can feel it. I'm sorry, but I can feel it. Oh, Leo, look at this new love. A new person has stirred romantic feelings. So, 
If you choose to just let go of the need to control everything in your love life, Leo, surrender and allow the divine to divine, <laughs> they're going to bring you in someone new, someone more aligned to your beautiful heart, someone that deserves you, Leo. Boom, boom, boom. I said it. Soulmate. Yes, this is your soulmate. I told you there was a deep connection. I told you. Cards don't lie. All right, let's see. <clears throat> I'm going to pull a Whispers of Love card for you, Leo. And we're going to divine your love future. <laughs> La 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 la, I love the sound of cards when they shuffle, don't you? Wow, it's such a beautiful sound, I love it. <clears throat> it fills my heart with such joy. Whoa, Leo, by the way, your energy is fucking beautiful. These cards are flying out. Oh, Leo, my heart just skipped a huge beat for you. Look at this. True love. This love is once in a lifetime. It's number 30. I told you this is a deep spiritual connection. For some of you, it could be a twin flame. For some of you, it could be a soulmate. Either way, you have known this person in many past lives. And so as soon as you knew each other, it was like, bam, there was an instant connection. It was an instant soul recognition. And you both felt it. And they tried to deny it, Leo. They may have tried to deny it. Or as soon as you meet this person, you're going to fucking know it. You're going to fucking feel it, right? All right. Trying to see if there's any energy. Wow, Leo, this is going to be a very passionate new love that comes in for you. I feel like one or both of you will try to deny it when it first happens. It's funny. Almost like you're like, no, I've been through this before. It's just a false um, connection. They're just going to ghost me. But here's the thing. this it's not, it's not the same energy. It's different. This is different. There's something different. The, these, the fireworks, my eyes are drawn to the fireworks. This is going to be a very passionate. It's going to be like, boom, sparks, fireworks. Wow, incredible. It's going to feel like a dream romance. The two unicorns, I'm drawn to the two unicorns too. The message is coming in soon. There's also a letter here. I don't know if you can see that. That's a letter, a crumpled up letter on top of this beautiful nymph's head. There's a bird and there's the two unicorns, which tells me that this is going to feel like a fantasy romance. Your person might be into music or something. There's something, this person here is playing a guitar. And then the stag represents the divine masculine. Wow, dude. Oh, there's a horse here too. The horse, horses represent great passion and drive. Wow, dude. This is incredible energy. Both of you have had a lot of growth this year. Number three tells me that you guys have a very strong spiritual um, background. So both of you are probably very, very spiritual. You know, number three is the number of the ascended masters. So both of you, I feel, are, are extremely spiritual. We're going to pull from the sex, the tarot of sexual magic. So if there's anything that's going to show any nudity, I will make sure <laughs> to be very cautious and not show anything, which is going to get me flagged on YouTube. <laughs> All right, what's up? Let's see. What do we need to know? What does Leo need to know? Whoa, dang, all of your cards are just flying out, Leo. This came out in reverse. 
Nine of Cups in reverse. So Nine of Cups upright means like a wish come true. Right? I don't know what it means in reverse. To me, it feels like maybe you thought you're... Maybe you feel like your wish isn't going to come true. But it is. It is, Leo. Can guarantee that. Three of Swords. Yes. So see, you may have, because you've experienced so much heartbreak in your past, this came out right with the Nine of Cups in reverse. So usually if a card is upright, you know, when it's upside down or in reverse, that means the opposite. So this, this is like the energy of feeling like, you know, your wish is not going to come true. And it's because you've experienced so much heartbreak. The three of swords is about heartbreak, right? But trust me, Leo, this energy is different. Okay. Be careful when this new person comes in to not be in this energy of like, oh, you know, it's just going to end like all the other ones is, you know, in heartbreak and pain because it's not. This is your wish coming true, Leo. One more, please, spirit. See? Knight of Cups. The Knight of Cups. Oh, man. I just realized that her breasts are out in this one. So I hope I don't get flagged. This one, you can't see anything. I'll just cover up her booty. Um, so this is the Knight of Cups. This is an offer of love. And there's the horse again. This one's different. They're coming in with passion and fire. They like to eat, too. I feel like you guys are going to eat a lot together. <laughs> oh, that's funny. All right, what else do we have for Leo? What deck should we do now? I don't even know what to dive into, Leo. I just don't. Let's pull a Power of Love card. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight more decks. Woo! We're making good timing, though. We're 27 minutes in. Like I said, these readings can get a little bit long. But I like to be really thorough and use all of my love decks so <clears throat> we don't miss any message from spirit. Right? You don't want to scrimp when it comes to the love department. Not, not in any shape, form, or fashion. We want to... Ooh, this energy is so good. All of your cards have been flying out. Normally that doesn't happen and they're flying out, Leo. Incredible. Action. You have the courage to express the unique, loving colors of your soul. Oh, Leo. Yes. Oh, it's so good, isn't it? To be able to be yourself and to be unique and allow your freak flag to fly and not have to worry about what anyone fucking thinks about you. To just be authentic and say, this is me accept me or don't because I don't really care at this point you know it's like you're in this stage of your life Leo where you're just like I have come so far and I don't really care if you don't like me if you don't love me if you don't think I'm delicious because I think I'm delicious and good for you Leo because you're you you have the rare ability to express your soul all of the unique colors of your soul Leo, you have a rainbow soul that makes you so brave and so beautiful, Leo. I just had to pause to feel that energy that came off of you because it almost took my breath away. You know, it's funny, like recently on my Instagram, I posted this, this Mandela and I, I had just, you know, put, I love you on there. Nothing else. And I put that song by Berlin, you know, take my breath away, that one. And that's what it felt like, Leo. It's like momentarily I lost my breath because your energy felt so incredible just now. It was almost like I got hit with like a wave of pure blissful love that came straight from your heart. And it felt so incredible. So, Leo, your energy right now is so beautiful and blissful. <laughs> Can I say that? 
And I feel like that's what draws people into you because they feel your warmth and your love and your glow and it just draws them in like moths to a flame, like bees to honey, right? It drives people crazy because they don't know where it comes from. You know what I'm saying? They just, they don't know. And it feels so good to them. Like right now I felt like euphoria, but also like this breathless feeling of like, 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 like it was, my breath was being taken from me, but in a good way, you know what I'm saying? I felt breathless and, and joyful. You know, and that, I mean, I'm an energy reader, so, like, I'm reading your energy, Leo, and it's, it's beautiful. All right, let's get, let's get one card from here for Leo, please. The tower, oh, man, boom, it came in like a wrecking ball, boom. Fuck that shit, why do we got the tower? I don't even know, let's read it. <laughs> I'm like. Why do we have the tower? I don't want the tower. Do you want the tower, Leo? You can have it. <laughs> Let's read it. This is Tarot of the Hearts, 50 Ways to Divine Love. I have absolutely no idea what the tower means in this deck. Because this deck only has major arcana. And they all mean different things. So, let's read it. Oh, my God. Turmoil. What is it? The stricken tower is the biblical Tower of Babel, signifying disaster, an act of God. The tower also symbolizes the ego, which collapses. There it is, Leo. When faced with the greater forces of nature over which we have no control... Through fire and lightning, the tower purifies the past. From its embers, new life emerges. The tower brings a sudden turmoil followed by regeneration. Boom, it's a rebirth, Leo. You had to experience the boom and the, and the pain and the tower collapsing and the ego death over and over again to, to, to become... The beautiful soul you are right now. You know, when people see you doing well or they see the glow up or they see, you know, the inner peace and the bliss on your face, they have absolutely no idea the freaking hell you had to walk through to get to be this gentle and this loving and this compassionate and this soft and this glow, right? All of that takes walking through the pits of hell with your demons, holding hands with them as they're straight leading you through hell and beating you down. Right, Leo? Is that they see you doing well, they see you happy, and they go, Ugh, how dare she be happy? Who does she think she is? Well, you know what she is? She's a motherfucking phoenix. She walked through the damn flames of hell. So if you see her happy and smiling and peaceful, then let her be just that because she earned it. She's got those wings and it took so much turmoil and so many tower moments to get where she is. So don't you dare try to take her down a peg because she's earned them thickened wings to fly. Right, Leo? Got the Holy Spirit going through me today. <laughs> All right. It says, where is that? Okay. Your personal values come under attack as you realize your lifestyle is no longer sustainable. This is a blow to your ego. However, you will learn from the experience and find a way to approach love without defensiveness. Whatever your situation, the tower brings disaster that may revolutionize your experience of love. Wow, do you hear that, Leo? It's a blow to your ego. However, you will learn from the experience and find a way to approach love without defensiveness. Oh my God. So basically, Leo, these tower moments you have been experiencing up until this moment 
they were necessary because they had to break you down and crack you open so that when this person comes in, you will love them without any ego. You will love them without having your defenses and your walls up because Leo has a lot of walls. And that's okay, Leo, because you had to have a lot of walls. You had to. Because people taught you that sometimes it doesn't feel safe to love. But now you are learning, Leo, it's always safe to love. Always. And whatever people decide to do with that love is none of your business. Because you are love. We are, the essence of us is love. And so for us to love is natural. And if people can't accept your love, that doesn't have anything to do with you. That has everything to do with them and their hearts and their damage and their trauma. And your love is never wasted, my beautiful Leo, because somehow, some way, it finds a way to boomerang right back into your beautiful heart, Leo. Oh, I love it. It's so good. It's so good. And look, on the bottom of the deck, it's it's Leo. All right, Leo, what else are we going to do? Let's do let's do this one. Yeah. And we have those two. Okay. So I'm going to do my spirit deck. Let's see. What spirit has to say? What do what do we need to know, spirit? What are we getting into right now, okay? Thank you for allowing me to be the clearest channel. This message is powerful as F. Charismatic. Perfect. I feel like that's your energy, Leo. You are always so very charismatic and beautiful. You are... Um, you are like the sun, right? It's like sunshine. If you guys have ever known a Leo, you know when you step into a room, you know, when a Leo steps into the room, it's like the whole energy shifts. It's like the sun just comes out. We have blonde hair. Beautiful. So your person could be charismatic with blonde hair. Or you have blonde hair. Blue eyes. Let's get one more. Blue eyes, blonde hair, charismatic. Not my type at all. <laughs> I don't really like like fair skin. Like, I don't know. That's just me though. I'm I'm, you know, Mexican and Spanish and um Greek, so I prefer the darker features. And then we have light brown hair. So there's two different hair colors here. We have light brown hair, blonde hair, blue eyes, charismatic. So take it out, resonates. Don't know. All right. What else? What else do we have, Spirit? I think all we have left is the tarot. Let's see what we got. Nope. We have, let's see, one. We have the Minara deck, but I'm going to dive into this tarot deck first. Because I have one, two, three, three tarot decks here that I want to start diving into. All right, let's take two cards from here, Spirit. Then we're going to go on to the Light Seers. Wow, we have Eight of Swords, but it came out in reverse. Holy shit, Leo. Do you know how good this is for you? So, Leo, this is, okay, so... If it comes out upright like this, this is about being trapped in your thoughts. This is about being trapped by your limiting beliefs. By believe you're thinking that you're 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 trapped, right? It's seeing yourself as a prisoner, being a prisoner of your thoughts. But if it's in a reverse, Leo, boom. Oh my god. Leo. Leo, 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 Leo. I fucking love you, Leo. When it's in reverse, Leo, it means you're no longer a prisoner of your thoughts. You have freed and liberated your mind, Leo. Oh, I'm so proud of you. <laughs> I kind of want to cry a little bit. <laughs> Leo. This means your limited beliefs are absolutely destroyed. You believe now that anything is possible. You are no longer a prisoner 
of your mind, Leo, and that is not an easy feat to do. You know how incredibly hard it is to free your mind, to, to be able to stop the thoughts when they come and they're negative and they start racing and they say, you're not good enough, you're not this, you're not Leo, to be able to say, no, I am good enough. I am good enough. I feel good enough. I am good enough. I am good enough. Right? To be able to not even hear those negative thoughts anymore, Leo. To only be able to hear the positive thoughts. And it's it, it's so beautiful that even when the negative thoughts do come, they're so rare now because you have retrained your mind. Oh my God, Leo. This energy is incredible. I'm floored. I don't, I don't even know what to say. <laughs> I'm just going to take a pause. <laughs> One more card, Spirit. You should be incredibly proud of yourself, Leo. Look at this. And with that comes that offer of love. Right? And also abundance. And I just heard that song by Michelle Branch that goes, There's something about the way you looked at me. And it's strange how things change, but now me wanting you so desperately. I want you so desperately. I keep giving in, but I should know better. I keep giving in, but I should know better. Cause there's something about the way you looked at me. And it's strange how things change, but not me wanting you so desperately. Wow, Leo. I'm sorry, that probably wasn't my best singing, but I just, I was in it. Like, Somebody feels like that. I keep hearing something about the way you looked at me. And it's strange how things change, but not me wanting you so desperately. Oh, Leo. My toes hurt. <laughs> I don't know why my toes hurt, but the made my toes hurt. <laughs> so weird. I don't get it. It's crazy. Somebody wants you so desperately. It's something about the way you look at them. I don't know. It's, oh, I have chills. Crazy. Crazy girl. Woo! Come on, bitch. Let's get it in. Why are these cards not shuffling, spirit? <laughs> something about the way you looked at me. I can't stop singing it, see? And the strange how things change. I may want you. So desperately, I want you so desperately. Ooh, they want you. Ooh, I can feel it. What is going on? It's been a while since I felt energy like this. Oh man, something. Damn, look at these cards just flying out. Ten of Wands in reverse. Ten of Wands. So, wow, Leo, this, I, oh my God, that one flew out in reverse too. Six of Pentacles. Okay, so Ten of Wands, you're, this is about having lots of burdens upside down. You're letting go of all of these burdens and stress, Leo. You know, this is traveling too. So you might have some delays in travel if you're going to be traveling somewhere. Just be aware of that, right? Six of Pentacles in reverse. So the Six of Pentacles here like this is about um, give and take, right? It's about receiving and it's also about giving. So it's in reverse. I'm not really sure what it means in reverse. So we are literally going to look it up, Leo, because I, I, don't, I don't do reversals, okay? I just don't. I never have. I've never learned them. Because I don't care about negativity. And usually, I don't, we never get any reversals, right? <laughs> but today, Spirit wants to fuck around and find out. 
<laughs> so let's fuck around and find out, spirit. What's up? Okay, Shadow Seer. One way flow of abundance. Wow. So, for example, over giving or over receiving. <laughs> over receiving. Hoarding and holding on to what you have. Choosing not to help. Being uncharitable. Selfishness. Ulterior motives or the inability to accept help. <laughs> yeah, that sounds like Leo. <laughs> the inability to accept help part, okay? So here is what this feels like, Leo. This came out like this, right? So you're learning to let go of the burdens that you have. For some of you, it's, it's going to be different for all of you. But for most of you, it's going to be like the burdens of everyday life, right? Overgiving of yourself. Self-sacrificing, right? For some of you, it's like in the past, you may have given a lot of energy to things, to people, to children, right? Now you're being constructively selfish, right? That's what this said, right? Because you need to be selfish, Leo, in order to increase your self-love. You have finally realized in 2024 that you are worthy of the love that you give, Leo. You're finally saying, my cup has been empty for so long. I have given to so many people and I am depleted. And now I'm going to give to my damn self. And I'm going to be selfish because I deserve it. Because I deserve that same type of love. And you're turning every single day into a self-care day. And you're shining your light so bright in 2024. People are going to need glasses to see you, Leo. I can feel it. For some of you, you've literally just learned the lesson of self-love and self-care in 2024. And oh my God, is it going to change everything for you, baby boo? Oh God. One more card for Leo. Look, the magician. You're going to manifest all of your dreams. In the love department, Leo. And in life. Spirit is saying, good for you, Leo. Stay focused. They're saying, look. You have all the tools that you need to create an eternity of bliss. Oh my God. I can't. I can't do it. <laughs> I can't do it, Leo. <laughs> oh, dang. All right. We're going to do this. What deck is this? The Psychic Tarot of the Heart. And then we have two other decks. And we're going to close off this reading. Oh, no, I haven't pulled from the Manara, have I? Ooh. All right. Well, we'll pull a few cards from here and then we'll pull from the Manara. I'm so sorry. So we have three more decks. This reading has got very lengthy. <laughs> It's all good. It has to be that long, right? Spirit is on fire today. This is a good one. This is a good one, Leo. This is a good one. Choose your battles. Seven of Swords. Choose your battles, Leo. Choose your battles. Okay. When it comes to love... You have to learn to choose your battles, okay? All right. Is that eight of... I don't know what that is. I think it's eight of swords. Oh, this is seven of wands. So we have seven of wands and eight of swords. Helpless and hopeless. Didn't we just... We had the eight of swords earlier. But it was about releasing those limited beliefs. Look, you can even see it in this card. Look, he is, there's no more being trapped in your thoughts. Look, the sun is shining. This person is free to walk this way, this way, or this way. Right? You no longer feel helpless and hopeless, right? You feel aligned. Two more cards, please. 
We have Shine, number 19. One more, please, Spirit. Shining your light, Leo. Oh, it's so bright. I just said that, didn't I? Didn't I just say something about shining your light? So brightly in 2024. Told you. I'm an energy reader. It's what I do. Ooh, sorry about it. Did you hear that, Leo? Can you hear that? Siren. It's a confirmation. Sorry about any background noise. Ooh, tell me if you can hear that on the camera, Leo. That's, that's confirmation right there. There's the siren. Solar plexus chakra. Look at that. See, the solar plexus chakra is what holds our confidence and our will, right? You've learned self-love, Leo. It's number three. One second. All right, by the way, Leo... Um, number 19 is the sun card. So this is Leo energy. Um, you know, Leo is known as the sun, right? So it's Leo energy. I mean, Leo card is, is strength, but it's Leo energy, right? All right. So you got, you have number three. I'm sorry. They're being so loud, Leo. So this is number three. This is also the number of the Ascended Masters. This card here is showing me that you've done a lot of work on your self-confidence. Your self-confidence issues are dissolving, Leo. I feel like this is 2024 is the time where you're going to shine your light. It's like you're not giving no fucks anymore about what people think about you. Okay. All right. You freed yourself from a lot of limiting thoughts, Leo. All right. Let's do the Monara. I had to turn on the fan because I was hot. So if you hear this clicking and whirring, Leo, it's just my ceiling fan. Hold on one second. Okay. Sorry about that, Leo. The bathroom is right next to this um, bedroom and someone was just washing their hands and being a little bit noisy. <laughs> so I just had to remind them, hey, I'm recording a video here, guys. So, okay, so for Leo, ooh, there it is, Leo. I'm going to have to cover that, but see, I'm going to cover it with my thumb. The naked self, wow. So this is about being your authentic self, Leo. It's about being um, naked and vulnerable. And even though um, being naked and vulnerable, like not, not literally <laughs> naked, but showing your fragile hearts and showing off all aspects of who you are to people can be very unnerving sometimes being authentic and speaking from your hearts and your soul opens us up to judgment right but it also opens us up to love right because the right ones are going to see that beautiful heart and they're going to be drawn in right the ones that understand your authentic self they are going to be drawn in because it's also going to allow them to feel safe being themselves. And it's going to open the way for their authenticity and vulnerability. And the ones that cannot relate on that level will fall away because they won't be able to come with the same energy as you. Right? So they'll naturally just fall out of your life. You can't attract in someone who's inauthentic if you are being your authentic naked self. Look at this one. Number 12, the flow of inspiration. Again, it's number three. Add two and one, and it's three, right? So, Leo, love inspires you to become your best self. Right? As if you already aren't your best self. You know, it allows um, your creativity to flow even easier. Which is pretty incredible, right? All right. So this reading is almost an hour long. So we're going to go ahead and wrap it up. Um, if anything resonated in this reading, please um, would you hit the like button, Leo. 
um, share with all your beautiful Leo friends who I know will appreciate this. I know Leos love to watch me. So thank you, my beautiful Leos. If you want to book a reading with me, um, all of my prices are in the description box below my video, right? You just ha I have to hit the little more button underneath the video. And then click on the Goldie appointment fix. So liking, sharing, subscribing are free ways that you can support my channel. I also have other ways that you can support me financially, which I always appreciate, Leo. I have two chip jars and a Patreon page where you can become a Patreon member and support me monthly for only $5 a month, Leo. Now just think about it. If 500 people signed up at $5 a month, how much money is that, Leo? <laughs> Do the math. It's not a lot. It's definitely not a lot. It's not going to break your, your bank, but it definitely helps me to support myself and my children, right? To give is to receive. All right. So we have medium or dark hair. We'll do four of these. Four is the magic number. What else does Leo need to know? Cartomancy. So if those of you that don't know what cartomancy is, it's what I'm doing right now. <laughs> it's reading tarot. <laughs> cartomancy is the art of reading tarot. Are they talking about me? <laughs> I'm your lover, Leo. <laughs> children. So your person might have children or you might have children. Someone has medium or dark hair and someone does cartomancy. You know what? All of these describe me. I have children. I do cartomancy. Medium or dark hair. I, I have... <laughs> it's funny. I'm sorry. It just making me laugh. I have medium to dark hair. And it's actually really curly like this. The last card we have is faithful. Oh, that's it. That wraps it up, Leo. It's me. <laughs> Come holla at your girl. <laughs> I'm faithful too. I literally have never cheated on anyone other than when I was 13 years old because I, I was, and, and who has relationships with 13? Like I was, it was my first boyfriend and I found out he cheated on me. So I went and kissed another guy and was like, I cheated on you. <laughs> I'm sorry. This is making me laugh because that's the only time I've ever cheated, right? Like I'm faithful to a fault sometimes. All right. So. That's pretty funny. All right, so let's um, get a message, a final message from your person, their secret thoughts, Leo, that they long to tell you, but they don't. And then we're going to wrap this beautiful love reading up for you, Leo. It has been quite an incredible bonus love read. I can't wait to do it for Gemini. And then last but not least, for Sagittarius. You guys are incredible. Thank you so much for loving me. All right. Final message for Leo. I'm going to pull three cards out and then I'm going to read them. Ta -da 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 -da. Ooh, sexy. <clears throat> okay, so we have the first one that came out is I watch you sleep in the astral. Wow, so your person is very powerful. Um, when both of you are asleep and the night has come upon the world, they astral travel to you and watch you sleep. So this, I told you, Leo, this, this, this new love that's coming in, it feels very twin flamey. They watch you sleep in the freaking astral. Like if that doesn't scream twin flame, I don't know what is. I mean, only you will know in your heart of hearts what this connection is. So, you know, don't take my word for it. Always trust your gut. But that's what it feels like to me. I'm reading the energy, okay? And either way, doesn't matter what it is. Don't even label it, Leo. It feels fucking intense and very spiritual and very beautiful. I long to touch every part of you, okay? They are deep in these emotions with you, Leo. They want to touch every inch of Leo's beautiful body, That's why they watch you sleep. And you notice how a rainbow is coming out of this masculine's heart? Last card. I want to hold you to my breasts and comfort you. Oh, that's beautiful. So your feminine is saying, 
She wants to hold you. Whatever it is you are you have been going through, you know, Leo males, your feminine is feeling so much love for you. She knows that you've been through a tough time recently, 2023, and she wants to hold you. She wants to, to take you to her breast and to hold you and comfort you and to let you feel her heartbeat and the love flowing from her beautiful heart. And she wants to say to you, it's all right. Everything's going to be all right. Every little thing is going to be all right. Right? All right, Leo, this reading is literally an hour long. So I hope that you like this reading. Please like the video because this video is damn long, Leo. I'm putting in the work. This video is an hour long, Leo. If that doesn't get like 50 million likes, I don't know what does. Your girl works so hard for you guys. Show me some gratitude, y'all. I love you so much. Bye, Leo.